When uh, Keely and I became foster parents for the first time, we made a huge mistake on the first day. The first child who came to stay with us was a 12-year-old boy. Um, he had several previous placements and was generally understood to be a handful, but never wants to back away from a challenge. We were eager to give him a, a safe place to call home. He arrived at our house around dinner time and the social worker visited our home and, and walked us through all the paperwork that accompanied him. There was a lot of details to keep straight. We did our best, but it was a lot of stuff all at once. After he was in bed, I was, <laughs> I was Googling when elementary schools start because I knew what school he went to, but I wasn't sure what the start time was. Um, remember, we'd never been parents before and you know, much less foster parents. So, you know, we were going from young married couple with no kids to parents of a 12 year old in the middle of a school year overnight. I figured it out and we got in there without incident uh, until about 11 a.m. when the social worker texted me. Uh, he said that this child had an outburst at school and, and had to be restrained. The teacher called him instead of me because the school didn't have my phone number yet. And then the social worker asked me if we had given the child his meds that morning. We hadn't, we'd forgotten about it. It was on the list of things to do. We had the meds, uh, we just forgot. The social worker was kind and reminded us how important it was and we promised never to forget again. Uh, and then I left work to you know, pick the child up from school early. And we hung out in the park until dinner time. Then the next morning around 6 a.m., I got a text from the social worker and it read, don't forget meds, have a good day. Now, he didn't have to do that. Uh, it was 100% my responsibility to remember. But that little extra, that meant a lot to me. Uh, that text said to me, I see that you're doing a hard thing. I see that you're doing your best. And I am in it with you. I am here, you are not alone. That was the moment that I decided if I ever had anything to do with it, with how foster care, social work gets practiced, I was going to make it more like that. More friendly, more kind, more encouraging. Several years later, I hired that social worker, Ryan Burke, to build Skookum's foster care program. We want all foster parents to feel the way that I did reading that text. We want them to feel encouraged and well supported. They are taking on something really, really hard. And we want to make sure that all the other stuff is as easy as we can make it. So if you are interested in being a foster parent, we'd love to hear from you. Skookumkids.org slash foster care. Or if foster care isn't for you right now, uh, you can do a lot of good in two other ways. One, you can give at skookumkids.org slash give. Uh, pledges of regular financial support pay for the training and support we provide to foster parents. And, or you could come volunteer at Skookum House or as a mentor or Foster Family Night Out or several other ways. Details at skookumkids.org slash volunteer. If you are ready to roll up your sleeves and get involved, this is a great time and we'll be with you every step of the way.